A new state legislative session starts next week and lawmakers will tackle a long list of issues. A WRAL state government reporter Travis Fain went out and about in downtown Raleigh asking people what they'd like to see this year from their General Assembly. My name's Travis. I'm a reporter for WRAL. I'm doing a story. It's one question. So the General Assembly meets in that building there. They go back into session next week. And what I want to know is what do people want? What do you want? What do you want this year from your North Carolina General Assembly? Just focus on the public, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out here walking around with blankets and sleeping bags and things, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy, you know? People need jobs. The teacher shortage, well, especially in like STEM classrooms and stuff like that, I know that's a big issue. We need to like work on for like science and math classes along with special education. So I think that's an issue we should also talk about. And it all costs money, right? Absolutely. Wait a minute, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. What? You, you think this is a joke? This is a real camera. To be fair and for the uh, state employees to get raises. We're not live though. Okay, thank you. Are we? We're not, we're not live. No, no. Okay. <laughs> One thing that you would like to see your North Carolina General Assembly accomplish this year. I have no comment. Well, that's fair enough. That's succinct. I get that from politicians a lot too. We'd like to see uh, more participation in the agriculture and more growth and development for our state and more for our program. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch them. Make sure our parents uh, have access, uh, the children have access to education and um, give parents some vouchers for childcare. I want them to just do nothing. My father used to say, no man's wallet is safe when the legislature is in session. <laughs> and they stay in session a really long time these days. <laughs> well, my, my, uh, my friend here. She'd like more dog parks. More dog parks? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. My name's Travis, I'm a reporter for WRL. You got time for one question? Uh, approve pay raises for state employees, that of course. Yeah. Are y'all feeling that pressure as you work day to day? I just lost a, a employee, so yeah. I'm actually yeah. working on vacancies right now. We're both hiring managers, yeah. so we definitely feel that impact. You know, we used to have like a level three engineer. We'd have like hundreds of applications. We get five. Wow. You know, so that's that's a it's a huge drop. I don't have much, but I want to help. So why can't we all just help put in together to help the people on the streets? So you heard a lot of ideas there from a lot of different people. That's one of the things that makes the legislating process unpredictable. People have different ideas. That unpredictability starts next week. For WRL, I'm Travis Fain.